Okay guys, hi, this is Lucas Orclox. Welcome back to a special video of Dragon Quest. Um Yeah, I say special because this is gonna be a very short video. Um And I'm gonna be doing a little bit of level grinding. I'm just gonna be level grinding a little bit on screen just to show you Um how to how the fuck you actually do it, you know, properly at least, without you know fucking it up. Um so I'm not going to be doing these kind of videos a lot throughout this playthrough. I'm just probably going to do it one more time. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I think. Maybe. I don't know. But, um, I do want to show off how you can actually manage off to grind a lot of gold, experience points while, you know, dying, and at least retaining, you know, some progress. And I, did, I didn't show that to you guys. Um, I just basically told you, like, oh, I'm just going to do it right here. I showed you two battles. I died, and then that's it. And, you know, probably you guys were, like, thinking, like, well, what the fuck? That's gonna be very hard. So, um, yeah. This is what this video is for. So, alright, let's just get to a battle. Oh, here's a new enemy. The Tetsu no Sasori. The Iron, um, Scorpion. Um, this time I, man I actually managed to open up my guidebook here on my computer. And I can finally tell you the stats. Jeez. Anyway, this guy has 22 points of HP. Um... And this guy actually has a little bit... Well, it's kind of weird. It's like you can put him to sleep, but he tends to wake up often. So, you're probably going to have to rely on two casts of Rari Ho in order to be able to put up with the guy. But I got lucky there, and it only needed one casting of Rari Ho. And if you don't know what the fuck Rari Ho is, no, it's not the Dwarven greeting in Final Fantasy. It's the sleep spell in this game. That's how the Japanese say it. No, it's not literally the word for sleeping. That's Nusumu. <laughs> Nusumu. Um, that... The, 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 oh, what am I gonna say? Um, the spells for the Dragon Quest, um, they're, the words are just made up. They're not really Japanese words at all. Holy shit, I got a critical hit. Holy cow. Um, that's one thing I didn't explain. I think it happened on the first video, but I never got on got into it. Yeah, your character sometimes can get a critical hit. And it's random, just like in any other RPG. So when that happens, you're basically good to go. It's like, yeah, I get to do a lot more damage, and holy cow, you ambushed me. Yeah, this is one thing I really wanted to show you, because you're really low-leveled here, or um, at least I have... Not that high of agility. Most of the enemies here will start up the battle with them ambushing me. So, yeah. S still, just do as always. Just try to get get off a good sleep spell going, and he just fucking woke up. Um, I'm gonna have to do it twice because, um, for these kind of enemies, you definitely want to put them to sleep. Ah, damn, and he freak freaking missed. <laughs> I mean, it didn't miss. It just didn't work. Okay, come on, do it again. There you go. Yeah, this kind of enemy, the Madoshi, how much HP does he have? He has 30 HP, okay. He has a lot of HP, holy cow. Um, the reason why I would really recommend trying to cast sleep on him at all times is because he can cast sleep on you, if I hadn't mentioned it before. Um, as for HP, let's check out my max HP. Oh uh, yeah, I actually got, I got in a, gained a level before even thinking of doing another recording here. Uh, um, and I managed, and my HP managed to be at level 50. I mean, my HP got to 50 points and my MP at 32 points. Um, so we're really good. And I have a good attack power and I have, well, I don't have that good of, of agility, Suayasa, so whatever. Um, anyway, you probably want to be, when you're fighting around this area, you probably want to be, want to have your HP up to 30. You know, keep it up as much up to 30 points. That's like a little safe threshold in order to, you know, survive the battles here because these guys can be really hard. Especially since I have no armor. Well, I have a piece of clothing equipped, but basically that. I, ha I don't have any physical defense on me, so the enemies are going to really be hurting me. It sucks. I guess it would have been smart to um buy uh, an iron plate or whatever they call it. You know what? They actually have the English version. I mean, the English wording for this. In this guidebook I have, it's it's all in Japanese, but they apparently have it in English in some parts. Um, Hagane no Yoda. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the f it's not the half plate armor. It's the full plate armor. Okay, there we go. It's the it's, okay. There we go. Then what the fuck was the half plate armor? 
Uh. Oh, the Tetsu no Yoroi. Oh, they call it. Oh. Well, Tetsu no Yoroi. Tetsu, it's iron in Japanese, but in this in this guidebook, they call it the half plate armor. And this is not the official localization, too. It's just they decided to call it this. Okay. Oh, well, that's the iron armor. So. Because Tetsu is iron. So there's no half plate armor. It's just only full plate. Okay. Damn it! Oh, come on, work. This guy is not much of a threat, but... Come on, work. There we go. Okay, let me see if I'm getting lucky and not have to heal. Shit! No, I have to heal. Fuck. Oh, God, no. I didn't even save yet. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to risk this. Let's risk it. Daddy-ho, please work, please work, please work. Good, good, good. Run away, run away. Woo! That was close. Yeah, like on the previous video, there's a mechanic in this game where if you put an enemy to sleep, you'll get an 100% um, escape uh, chance. So, yeah, do that. You'll, guaranteed to, um, you'll be guaranteed to be able to escape through battles if you're in a tight pinch like I was. Uh, but sometimes those spells, it can be... <laughs> I hate that word, shikashi. It's like, oh no, it didn't fucking work. That's one of the word, the, one of the words I don't like here seen in Japan in, in Japanese. Shikashi or demo. Um. Anyway, yeah, as you can see here, the inn is very expensive. It costs like 55 pieces of gold, and this is what I was talking about. Like, it, it kind of decreases your progress a bit because you are getting a lot of, even though you're getting a lot of money from these battles. Um, because of my shitty equipment, besides the Hagan and Otsurugi, um, I, I tend to have to come back and heal my HP and then my MP because I, I, I have to be use- I tend to be using up my MP points a lot for Rariho and healing. Um, but there's another way to kind of conserve, um, your money a bit, and that's by going to the Magic Key guy. The, the, yeah, the Magic Key store, buying the Magic Keys, which I believe there were- how much pieces of gold they were. Did I even wrote that in here? Yeah, this is actually one of my first guides that I wrote that I made for my for my playthrough. So it's like really old. I I, I basically just went late. I was really lazy and didn't even bother to do a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, I didn't fucking bother to put the the price for the magic keys. But oh well, let's just go check it out. Let's just go check it out. I forgot how much it was. Uh, I don't- I kinda wanna say it was 6 pieces of gold, but no. I think it was like, what, 55? No, wait! No, it can't be 55 then! What the fuck? If it was, then why the fuck am I doing this? If I can just use the end. Oh, uh, let me just see. Hold on. How much what did it cost, old man? Oh! Behave! 53, no! Never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, what I was gonna say- Well, actually, I guess it's still important. Um... Hold on, here we go. Let me just check something real quick at the end. If, if Because I did something here without showing it to you. I should have done this in the first place, but I didn't do it because I was too lazy. Oh, okay, it respawned. Okay, yeah, Um, what I was, what I did was, I actually used up my magic keys here. Um, Tobira. Tobira. Check this item box here. There we go. Yeah, it contains a Chimera no Tsubasa. This, it contains a Chimera Wings. And I could, and basically, this is a good way to actually go back to Chatora Atom and save your game if you ever need to. And I was gonna say like, oh, you can do that in order to use the the guy who restores all your MP, and you know, you don't have to waste a, not a lot of money in order to restore your your health. But never mind, because it costs 53 pieces of gold in order to get um buy magic keys here in order to refill your stock. I only have one more left, but still. So basically what you probably want to do is you still want to rely on the inn here. Um, just do enough as much progress as you can with your money and then once you really need a save, then you can try to um, spend like over a hundred pieces of gold in order to get to Chateau Radatom. Because I mean it takes it's a long walk from here from Rimmeldar to Radatom, so you don't want to waste a lot of time risking <laughs> Risking your life going all the way over there. Well, I don't know. I guess it's well. 
well, I guess it's not that big of a deal because you just only have to worry about the enemies in this area, and it's not that long of an area. But then again, the encounter rate in this game. Oh, well. Come on, just kill this guy. There we go. See, this is what I mean. Sometimes you don't get quite lucky with the Rariho. They sometimes wake up on the next turn anyway, so you end up using um four magic points in total in order to be able to beat an enemy. So, and, and Hoimi costs 4 points of MP, so you'll be spending up a lot of MP doing this. This is probably, kind, this is probably the worst part in the game for me. Um, at least when it in terms to grinding, because of all this crap that you have to deal with. And it's really risky, too. Honestly, I guess it would have been a really good idea to spend some money on, on an iron plate. Um, an iron armor. So that way you can kind of balance it out a bit. They won't hurt you as much. But, nah. I'm just being fucking lazy. I just want to have enough money to buy the Hagane no Yoda. And holy cow, he ambushed me. Oh, but at least he didn't cast Ariho, so. Okay. Yes, good, 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 good. I just hope he doesn't wake up on the next turn. Okay, he's still awake. I mean, he's still sleeping. There we go. Yeah, he's not that. He, I mean, 30 HP, but he doesn't. He has a shitty um, physical defense anyway, so it won't. It wouldn't work out well for him anyway. All right, Ready Hall. There we go. Yeah, yeah. This guy. Uh, 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 for me, he he tends to wake up really. Yeah, like right now. Yeah, he tends to wake up really often, even with the uh, Ready Hall spell. But I think he's not resistant to it. Yeah. I'm actually gonna use this time to cast a Hoimi spell because I don't want to risk it. Oh, damn it, I wish Hoimi could cure more. Okay, another Rari Ho. Okay. Alright, let's risk it a bit. Damn it. Okay, good, good. I think I can kill him now. Yay. Phew. Yeah, it won't be it won't be for a while until we get an upgrade for our Hoimi. Um I think it's Behoimi. Do we have that? Yeah, Beho- Oh, that's at level 17! Holy shit! We have quite a long way in order to get to that- In order to get that spell. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, hopefully I can get lucky on this guy. If things turn out bad, I'll just, you know, sleep and run away. Damn it. Okay, one more try, one more try. If he wakes up again, I'm gonna have to run away and go to the end. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your low HP. All right, I'm gonna have to get on. I'm gonna have to go to the end. Yeah, don't, don't really. I really highly recommend don't, uh, do not risk the chance of, of battling another battle if your HP is below 30, and if you don't have enough MP to cast uh, at least one um Rari Hall spell. 55. Yeah, but whatever. Oh well, at least we'll be getting cl I mean, even though it does seem like it's gonna hinder a bit of your, um, gold... Um, acquiring gold process, I don't know how I'm gonna call that. Um... Still, the enemies here st give you a lot of gold in return anyway, so... It, still, doing this this little method of getting grinding for gold is very well worth it. It's gonna take you a while, though. <laughs> uh... Yeah, um, the experience points needed in order for me to get to level 9 was at 1300. And the next level, in order to get to level 10, will be 2000 HP. I mean, 2000 experience points. Okay, it's this guy again. There we go. Yeah, um... I get the, 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 oh, the, os, the Tetsu Sasori, or the Iron Scorpion, Every enemy in here, when it comes to debuff spells in Dragon Quest, enemies have a resistance. They don't have, like, an accuracy. There's no accuracy with debuff spells like in a Final Fantasy game. I, I think I already mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again! Um... So... There, so, so when, so when, when a spell didn't work out for you, that doesn't mean that it won't work for them for, it won't work for them at all. Um... You'll st this just means that there's a really low chance that it'll hit them because I don't think there's an I don't think enemies, at least in this game, have 
full resistance to a to a debuff spell. So even the final boss in the game, I think you can still put that that asshole to sleep. But he has really he has a very good resistance to it, so it'll take a while. And I don't think it's even worth it. It's probably only worth it if you got lucky and managed to do that and managed to get him to sleep on your first turn. But I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not gonna rely on on, on a method like that, cause when it comes to battling the the Dragon Lord, you're gonna have to have all as much. A, I mean, you're gonna have to have all your MP in order to survive. At least if you're thinking of battling him at level 20, because that's the appro that's the the threshold level in order for you to be able to beat the guy. Any level lower than that, then you you stand no chance against him. Yeah, it's fucking boring, but oh well. It's kind of exciting, too. Um, I mean, yeah, it's boring to look, but to play, it is a bit of a gamble. And it go- and, it, and it's kind of fucked up on why they- on why the game programmers decided to make it kind of really, really difficult like this. Um, Yuji Hori, the guy who directed Dragon Quest, or who, who was the main guy behind it, um, he basically wanted to make this game not as hard to understand, you know, I mean, like, it's really simple to understand. There's only fight, um, you, there's only, your character only can fight, um, use spells, use tools, run away, you know, it's not, like, really complicated, like, in a Final Fantasy game. And, and not only with, you know, with game mechanics, but in control as well, like, it's not really hard to do what, to do what you want to do. Um, but at the same time, you wanted to balance that simplicity with being, um, by, by raising the stakes with the enemies, like, you really have to be careful to survive the battles here. At least in the, well, not, actually, no, even, even towards the end games and the later Dragon Quests, um, you still have to be conservative with your magic points, and the items that you hold, especially for this game, because you only have one person with you. Um, and the reason why he did it this way, he programmed it this way, is because Yuji Hori tends to be a fucking gambler, and he just lives for that shit, and he was like, you know what, I bet other people would like to have that kind of thrill at too. And, you know what, it, ac it actually is kind of thrilling. It does make the gameplay a little bit more immersive, at least in my opinion, where you really have to be careful what you're doing, especially when it comes to level grinding in here. <laughs> so, some people might say it's bullshit. I say it's a good addition to a game like this. Otherwise, it would be it'd be really boring if the battles were really easy altogether. So, at least in the later games, he kind of got he kind of was able to quench that thirst for um, high stake life by putting casinos in the games, so. Alright, I think this might be the last battle I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna put him to sleep. Please tell me, please tell me it'll work, because I think he can kill me. Yeah, he can, he can kinda kill me. Um. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm good, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> I managed to have a, over a thousand, I managed to have over a thousand pieces of gold, so. That's, that's a good, that's good progress. Yeah, I still- yeah, I'll still have a thousand, even after spending it in here. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Okay, we're kinda a third of the way there, <laughs> in order to get 3,000 gold, in order to buy the Hagane no Yoroi. Alright, so yeah, now that we've done that, like I said before, in order to get back to Chatorada Tom and quickly save your game, you wanna spend- you'll probably have to spend 100 pieces of gold in order to buy two um, magic keys in order to open up this treasure chest. And this is one thing I forgot to mention in this game. Treasure chests in Dragon Quest, at least in the first and probably in the second game, um, they tend to- holy cow, what- hold on, I need to take this call, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, but anyway, um, yeah, treasure chests can respawn, and it's not all of the treasure chests that can respawn, but some of them, I believe. Maybe all of them, at least in this game. I don't think in the second game, there's some restrictions to it. But yeah, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I need to get another Kimet. I won't be able to get another Kimet out no Tsubasa in this, in this town. You'll still be able to. So yeah, let's return to Radaton. <laughs> that sound effect is so classic. 
Alright, you know what? I'll just... I'm not gonna even bother this. I'll just meet you guys in the next part where we'll probably be at level 10 and gotten enough money to buy the Hagane no Yoroi. So, I'll see you guys into the next part. Bye!